Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top five purple eyeshadow palettes. So if you wanna see what they are, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market. Meaning, I try a lot of things, and if you're new here, I love purple. I love purple everything. It's my favorite color, particularly purple eyeshadows. And here's the thing with purple eyeshadows. I'll try and be quick. Purple is really tough to formulate. A lot of times, brands don't even go there. And there are a lot of purple palettes on the market where you really aren't purple. There's just a couple pops of purple and the rest are other colors. They're not purple. So I wanted to share with you guys my top five true purple palettes. And you know that the market is really limited when I literally only have five. A lot of my favorite purple palettes have been discontinued. So these are five that are still on the market. They range from different price points and I think they're really great and most important they have an actual true purple color story they're purple there's no pops of this pops of that no hints of purple all five of these are all purple palettes that I think you guys would really enjoy I did want to say a quick thank you for all of the kind comments I got in yesterday's video if you missed it check it out it was just a life update i quit teaching basically I'm doing YouTube full-time and I'm so excited for this journey and I've tried my best to get back to as many comments as I can but in case I missed it I want to personally say thank you because I haven't received like one rude comment I was really nervous to post it I don't know why but I just was because it's just a, it's been a decision that I've been thinking about for so long so I've been really worried and nervous about the reaction and after last night and all of the sweet comments that you guys left I definitely feel much more confident in this decision decision and yeah I just want to say a quick thank you anyways I've talked your ear off already let's get into the palettes actually before we do that let's be on theme right now look at this boom we'll do purple in the background doesn't really match but it feels right I have these like remote controlled RGB lights that Jose bought for me and I'm I'm living for it I can change this to any color that I want all right let's get into the palettes I know today's video is probably gonna be short and I'm surely stretching this intro out to make it as long as possible so we're gonna start off with the palette that I'm wearing it is by far the most affordable palette in this video ColourPop has a few good choices for purple palettes the one that I'm recommending that is still currently available for you guys to purchase is the Lilac You A Lot palette. So it is a nine pan palette and it is a completely monochromatic purple color story. You have a lot of different tones of purple here. You can see it on my eyelid right now. So if you want that true purple, not a warm purple, not a cool purple, a true purple palette, this is awesome and it's only what nine to twelve dollars. You can get it on sale for pretty cheap as well if you wait for a ColourPop sale. And I just think it's the best way to get some some true purples into your collection at an affordable price. There's a couple of caveats that I will mention. You know, there's pros and cons to this palette. A lot of times the purple mattes are the ones that are difficult to formulate. The purple mattes in here are really awesome. You do have to build up this color right here. That's my crease color that I'm wearing, but it's fine. I'd rather it be buildable than just dust off or be too pigmented and disappear. It actually does hold its pigment, but these two are really awesome. A lot of times they can be patchy in other formulas. I don't notice these to be patchy. They also have some great corresponding tones here. Really great match. The shimmers are what might give you a little bit of difficulty. And this shade right here is a little bit messy. You definitely need to use a wet brush or a glitter glue. And I always say if a formula needs a glitter glue or water to work, it's not that good quality. So it's a bit messy. It's a bit powdery. But for the price point for a purple, you really can't beat this. You're going to have to make adjustments with the shimmers, particularly this one. The other ones aren't so bad. Other than that, I definitely think it's worth worth the money especially if you don't have many purple palettes in your collection this is a great one to go to and you can see how pretty this look is now make sure you're following me on instagram morgan turner makeup because i am going to at some point upload a reel of the look that i'm wearing so you can see how i did it but for a few bucks you really can't beat this palette and it's one of the few true purple color stories that the brand was willing to go to and a lot of brands don't do that so i did want to recommend this one the next one you all saw coming my love of fair with the Viseart Violet Itanzu palette. Now I'm not gonna lie, 
okay? Liaison was the first purple palette that Viseart came out with, and this is still my favorite. Unfortunately, this was discontinued a while ago. You cannot get your hands on it. In replacement of this, Viseart did come out with the Violet Itonzu, and this is still available to you. So if you still have your Liaison, this is my call to action for you to pull it out. But if you don't, the Itonzu Violet is awesome as well. It has very pretty packaging, and there are a lot of similar shades that are in the Liaison palette, and it is, again, a very beautiful color story, very easy to work with. The pigments here are definitely more vivid than what you are going to get in the ColourPop palette. It's a higher quality formula. Again, there's something about the Liaison where I think the colors are a bit more creamy, but still a very easy palette to work with, and again, they dared to touch a true purple color story, and even the shades that aren't truly purple, like the silver, silver is such a complimentary tone for purple eye looks and these mauve tones brilliant they make a purple look more approachable i think the color story behind this is so impressive and you just don't get this a lot with different palettes so viseart went there with this it's definitely worth the money especially if you can get it on a discount but i think it's worth it full price it's definitely a treasured palette in my collection because again it is so hard to find a true purple color story and not only does viseart have a superior formula but the color story is so genius and workable and user friendly so I really love this one let's move on to number three we're probably gonna work through these really quickly okay so listen I know for a fact that I've convinced a lot of you to pick this one up and if you haven't jump on the train please this is the Tom Ford daydream quad Tom Ford prices are crazy this one is untouched I bought a new one recently that that should tell you something this is the most unique purple color story I have in my collection. I do not have another palette with these tones. This has that wet dry formula from Tom Ford which is very workable and it's very flattering for mature skin types. Oh my gosh there it's like lilac and blue toned, cool toned, green toned. Again a color story that a lot of brands don't touch. Now this one is hard to get a hold of. It's not readily available but I've noticed it a lot of different retailers for 50% off. I'll just follow the links down below. I will search for it because I think they have a lot of overstock on this which I don't know why because it is probably my favorite Tom Ford palette ever. It's just so unique. It's so beautiful in the eye. It's really effortless to apply as well, which is rare with purple formulas. Even with the ColourPop, I still had to spend some extra time getting it to work, getting it to look blended. This, it's just as effortless as all of the other Tom Ford palettes that I have. I don't, I don't know why they don't make more color stories like this because the formula is incredible. It's easy. It's user-friendly. If you're intimidated by purples or you're looking for something a little bit more unique in your collection this one is the way to go I love it okay so number four it's a little different than all of the other palettes that you're gonna see in today's video but it's a color story that I find to be very unique it plays in tones of purples that I don't mention in any other palette and the quality is really fabulous so this is the melt cosmetics she's in parties palette so if you're into those more grungy cranberry purple tones this is your girl so I don't dig into this one this much just because I prefer a little bit more brighter purples like the tones that you see on my eyes right now but if you are looking for a grungy purple palette this is a way to go again a very unique color story unlike any of the other palettes in my collection and you guys know I do have some beef with melt cosmetics eyeshadow palette formula and I don't know how they came out with a purple palette and it was by far their best quality that I had ever experienced this got my hopes up for melt because I just didn't understand how they could could rock a purple palette so well and then continue to come out with brown palettes that aren't that great quality. They killed it with this. The formula is so intense and vivid on the eyelids while still being blendable. Again, not a typical kind of tone of purple that I would go for, but in the fall, this is really fun. And the ease of use on this is also spectacular. I'm not leading you the wrong way in formula. This is really awesome. And I wanted to throw in something that I thought was a little bit more different, but it still is a true purple palette. 
I really like it, very unique. If you're not sure whether or not to dip your toes in Melt Cosmetics, I understand. I definitely have talked my crap about their products and their formulas. You just have to be careful. This is one that I can confidently say, I think you will like the formula on this one. This one won't be a waste of money. Okay, the last palette, and I feel like I know a lot of you knew this was gonna be in this video because it's new and they killed it, okay? I'm very positive in this video because these are my top five purple palettes and I'm a passionate purple wear. And the ABH Norvina Pro Pigment Volume 5, great. I've only created three, four? Oh no, I think I've created five looks with this. Wow. Alrighty, that's a lot for a brand new palette, okay? I keep wanting to dig into this. I wanted to dig into this one again today, but I wanted to use one that I hadn't used recently. If you don't have any purple palettes in your collection, you're not looking to severely break the bank. This is pricey, but you're getting a lot of colors. It's a great value. This is the palette that I probably recommend the most because you're getting just so many different shades. There's a true color story behind this. A lot of times with these palettes, I felt like they were very chaotic color stories. This is a true color story of purple that Norvina stuck to and she did a phenomenal job. Look at all of these different tones that you get. You get some mid-tone purples, you get some lilacs over here, lots of pretty eyelid colors, and then you get some coarse corresponding colors that flatter a purple eye. I just think that this color story was very thoughtfully done and it makes sense. And again, the formulation on this, I have not had a bad shade from this palette, which is very surprising to say for a palette that has so many different colors, but so far I have not found a dud. I think this is the one that I'm recommending the most to somebody who doesn't have any purples in their collection because you just get so much variety with this. You can also create really wearable looks with this palette as well. I mean, looking down at what I have on my desk. This is the best value. We'll say that, value and formula. So those are my top five purple palettes that are still available to you right now that I think you would really enjoy to incorporate an actual purple palette into your collection where I don't think you'll have too many repeats. Like I said before though, there are some purple palettes that I really love that were discontinued. So this is for my friends who are my makeup porters who have collected some purple palettes in the past, here I am to remind you to pull these guys out because these are ones that I considered featuring in today's video, but I just wanted to make sure the ones that I mentioned were still available. So if you have the Huda Beauty Amethyst palette, pull it out, really beautiful. If you have the Bobbi Brown Ultraviolet Eyeshadow palette, which was highly, highly underrated, I must say. I love this color story. Pull it out. Kevin Aquan Nude Pop. Did we all forget about this one? Now this one's not as purple. You know, I don't know if it really qualifies for that true purple color story, but I'm gonna count it. It's really cute. And then the last one, which I'm surprised I had a hard time finding. You can like find it probably. I saw on Walmart. There's a lot on Mercari and Poshmark in those places. The color pop, it's my pleasure. Honestly, I think this one is a bit better quality than the lilac you a lot, which is on my eyes. The shimmers just seem a little bit more creamy to me. So one of the two are good, but if you have any of those, pull it out, please. And a little bonus tip, I always get asked, what lipstick should I pair with my purple looks? I just don't know. I have one recommendation for you that looks good with every single purple look. It is by Natasha Denona, and it is the Amorosa lipstick, just like this what's on my lips right now. I have Oh Snap Lip Liner from ColourPop underneath it as the definition around my lips. First of all, the formula is spectacular. And as you can see, it, it, it'll go good with any tone of purple look. I highly recommend this if you aren't sure what direction to go as far as lipsticks. So there we have it, you guys. Those were my top five purple palettes to recommend to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And yeah, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.